He was part of the AlphaGo project, which built at Google an AI system that could play Go, which is a game that is harder to play than chess. And there's an infamous story, if you're familiar with the history of AI, called Move 37. And Julian talks about it because it's important for us today. So at the time, AlphaGo was trying to learn to beat the best human players, and it had not done so. And then at one point in a real-life game with a real-life Go master, it played a 37th move that was considered a mistake by all of the commentators. It violated basic strategy, and everyone thought it was a disaster. But later, as the game progressed, the masters realized that AlphaGo understood the game on a level they didn't. And it was something that led to the win, the, the game being won. And the masters then realized that actually the move 37 was brilliant. And so Julian talks about this and this idea of a move 37. And what he suggests is that as we start to extend the length of time agents can do work, the amount of useful work they can do, we are going to get to a point where there's a move 37 moment uh, for AI. And we don't know what that will be going in, so we inherently can't, but it is something that we need to be prepared for. We need to expect something like maybe a Nobel Prize scientific breakthrough in 2027, 2028, somewhere in there, where AI can search a solution space faster and more effectively than human intuition, and we get something that would not have been possible at all that is world-changing because of AI. 